Okay, question 14 on the 2023 paper one of the Edexcel exam series is a question involving proof. So we need to prove using algebra that n plus one cubed minus n cubed is always odd for all n where n is a subset of natural numbers. We'll come back to that bit shortly. I think your first step here would be to expand and simplify. So n plus one cubed it's n plus 1 times n plus 1 times n plus 1. And we're going to subtract n cubed. Um, so it's first of all, just a test of your basic algebra. Can we expand and simplify triple brackets? I always start by expanding the first two. So n squared plus n plus n gives us 2n plus 1. And that needs to be multiplied by n plus 1 and then subtract n cubed. Now for this bit here, you can, again, some people like to do that, like I just did with the first two. I would always say it's nice and neat to use a grid here. So I do n squared plus 2n plus 1 times n plus 1. That gives me n cubed, 2n squared, and n. n squared times 1 is n squared, 2n, and 1. And what you'll find is the diagonals will always sum together. So what we're left with then is n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. And then we also had the minus n cubed afterwards. So you can see that those two cancelled out. So what we're left with then is 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. So that's just your first step because what we need to do now to prove that it's odd for all natural numbers. Now, if it's a natural number, that means that it's either going to be even or odd. So we need to prove that for all even and odd numbers, that this will always give us an odd expression. So if I let n equal an even number, then we can represent n as 2k let's let n equal 2k. Um, well, I'm using a different letter, so this can represent any number whatsoever. Two of any number will give us an even number. So if I substitute that in, that gives me 3 times 2k squared plus 3 times 2k plus 1. And expanding that, it gives me 3 times 4k squared plus 6k plus 1. And simplifying that down, that gives us 12k squared plus 6k plus 1. And noticing here, if I factorize 2 out, that gives me 6k squared plus 3k in brackets like that. And what that means then, for any value of k, my outcome will always be odd. So therefore, it's odd for all values of k. So we've proved so far that if it's an even number, your outcome to this expression will always be odd. If I do the same thing now, but I let n equal an odd number, therefore n will be, I'm going to say 2k minus 1. You can use 2k plus 1. Minus 1 tends to neaten your answers up, I find, a little bit more. So if I put that into my brackets now, that's going to give me 3 2k minus 1 squared plus 3 2k minus 1 plus 1. So expanding this out, expanding that double bracket out, so I'm going to write it out fully just to be thorough. And then expanding and simplifying, that gives me 4k squared minus 2k minus 2k gives me minus 4k minus 1 times minus 1 gives us plus 1 plus 6k minus 3 plus 1 then expanding again 12k squared minus 12k plus 3 plus 6k and then minus 3 add 1 gives us minus 2 simplifying again that gives us 12k squared minus 12k 
plus 6k is minus 6k. And I've got plus 3, take away 2, so it gives me plus 1. And similar to before, if I take 2 out and, and factorise with that, that gives me 6k squared minus 3k plus 1. And what that tells me then, for every odd number, if n is an odd number, no matter what I put in there, the outcome is going to be 2 times something where k can be any value. Um, and when you expand that out, that's going to give you 2 times a number. So that part will be even plus 1. So therefore, it's odd for all values of k. And because n is a subset of natural numbers, that means it has to be either even or odd. So if I've proved that they're always odd for evens and odds, therefore it's odd for all values. Therefore odd for all n, which is a subset of natural numbers. And that's the proof complete.